Well, relegation. Yeah, I'm not going to go into it again. But I do have some news for you. We have had a message from the chairman today from Leicester City Football Club. So, guys, smash the likes on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I want your thoughts and your comments after I read this out to you. This is from the Leicester City Chairman, Iwat Shrivadhanad Papa. Here we go. I'm going to read this out to you and dissect it. Okay. Today, we share the loss and the pain of relegation together. But we will be back. We started this incredible journey together back in 2010 when we came to Leicester City. A much loved championship club with great tradition and such passionate fans. Back then, we held an ambition, an ambition to bring the club back to the Premier League. It was an ambition which took us four years to realise as we steadily and deliberately built the club up, investing in our playing squad, staff and infrastructure to make sure we were Premier League ready. We had some setbacks, but we kept pushing together, believing that what we were building would eventually take us to where we wanted to be. Promotion was only the start and we went on to achieve things and share experiences together that nobody will ever forget. In our first season back in the top flight, everyone thought we were down. But we showed immense resilience and character to come back and produce one of the best recoveries in the Premier League history. A year later, we'd complete an ascent nobody thought was possible. From relegation favourites to Premier League champions and one of the greatest sporting stories ever told. We took Leicester City into the UEFA Champions League, giving our supporters those amazing Wednesday nights under the lights in Porto, Bruges, Copenhagen, Sevilla and Madrid. We used the fruits of that success to keep reinvesting into the club, strengthening our squad, improving the experience for our fans and starting plans for major projects like Seagrave and the stadium expansion that would give us long-term strength and growth. In 2018, we shared the loss of my father, Kun Vishai, our late chairman. It was the most painful experience for me and my family, but the support and love we received from our Leicester City family made our bond even stronger. I made a commitment as chairman to continue to pursue the ambition my father and I shared for the club, to ensure that the realisation of his vision for Leicester City would ultimately become his legacy. Like many clubs, the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic hit us hard. We lost revenue and had to adapt. But we continue to support the club, continue to support our communities through unprecedented period of hardship and continue to deliver success on the pitch. We broke into the top six, we returned to Europe, we launched LCFC Women and we lifted the FA Cup for the first time in our history added the Community Shield and reached a semi-final after more memorable nights in Moscow, Rennes, Eidenhoven and Rome. Of course, these milestones place our situation today into quite stark context, but I reference them to highlight the progress we have made as a club in the last 13 years, which gives more confidence that we will build again. Relegation is undeniable. A significant setback, but it will not define us. This past season has been the most difficult for all of us to endure, ultimately resulting in relegation from the Premier League. We gave everything to turn it around yesterday and the atmosphere in the stadium after we've get, we'd gone in front and looked on course for survival was incredible. But relegation is a consequence of 38 games and over that period we have not been good enough. Over the coming days and weeks, we need to reflect on the processes and decisions that have brought us to this point. What we learn from this experience must convert into action that makes us stronger and prevents this happening to us again in the future. 
Today, we share the loss and the pain together, but we will be back. This responsibility that I continue to live is one of the greatest responsibilities in my life, and I will continue to put everything into it. My passion, that of my family and the entire King Power community. I've received a massive number of messages from our fans, both positive and negative. Some want me to sell the club, some are using offensive and thoughtless words, and some have been outright abusive. But from every hurtful message I receive, I've also received messages of support, of appreciation, of unity, both remotely and from people that I have met anonymously in public, who always come to say hello to me and to my family. It means a lot to us. We want to thank you and let you know that we still have the same ambition for Leicester City that we had 13 years ago. The incredible support we had in our stadium yesterday, the positive message we have received from our fans and the constructive comments we, we must take on board. We will gather all this support and use it to our power and recovery. Power to justify our fans' belief in their club. Power to take us back to the Premier League status. Next season is going to be tough, but it will be a year for collaboration and unity. We will come back together and fight to return to the Premier League. Thank you for your support. Iowat Shrivadhan Papa, Leicester City Football Club chairman. Powerful. Wow. So that's the first time I've read that. I haven't read that before. That's the first time. That's my first initial reaction. And I've got to say, I don't like the fact that people have sent him abusive messages. I don't like reading it on Twitter about selling the club. I don't like the fact that people attack him. I get it. I understand frustration. I understand that it's probably his fault. All in, he's, he's the leader. He's in charge. It's his fault. But his family have made this club what it is. He has every right to now take it and repair it. Take us and repair it. Damage has been done. He's already just stated in that statement, let's get back to the Premier League. I'm all for it. The train of citizens is over £100 million. That was never going to happen under a different leadership. It just wasn't. We was in trouble. Administration knocking on the door. I can't stand the fact that he's been abused. That's the worst thing. I have also said a few bad things about the board. And I don't think he's got the right people in, in charge. Susan, Susan Whelan, John Rookin. We're going to do a different video on that another time. But he's pouring our, his heart out here to the Leicester fans. He hurts as much as we do. you got to remember, his dad died at the King Power. He's got an attachment to it now. I don't think he'll sell. From that statement alone, he ain't selling. So for the people that want him to go, want him to sell this club, you're not getting what you want. So you either need to grow some balls or go and support someone else. I'm sorry, facts. If it wasn't for them, we would not not have won a Premier League. We wouldn't have won an FA Cup. We probably wouldn't even be in the Premier League right now. We would have no future plans for this stadium that's coming. Still don't know even know if that's coming or not. But he's mentioned it in the statement, and that's it. Listen, it's been a wild 24 hours with Leicester going down. I wasn't expecting a statement yet. I was expecting it a little bit later in the week, but it's been released. There is your statement. That's my reaction. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on the statement. Let me know what your thoughts are on top staying and telling everyone that we're going to get back into the Premier League. Let me know everything in the comments below. Smash the like on the video. Hit the subscribe button. I shall see you on the next one.